Today, families of fallen servicemen and women visited cemeteries in remembrance of their sacrifice. The Southeast Louisiana Veterans C Cemetery in Slidell paid special tribute, and Erica Ferrando was there to bring us the stories of some of our nation's heroes. Oh, he was special. <laughs> he was very, a very inspiring young man. Visiting his son's gravesite at the Southeast Louisiana Veterans Cemetery, Ernest Collins is reminded how proud he is as a father. We just couldn't be more proud of him. His son, Army Specialist Caleb Collins, a St. Augustine High School graduate, was only 22 years old when he lost his life while stationed in Hawaii in 2015. He was honored with the Army Soldier's Medal for jumping into the ocean trying to save a fellow soldier who was swept into the water by a powerful wave. It was the ultimate sacrifice. In that moment, he did not think of himself. On this Memorial Day, his family sat next to others who shared their hero stories, too. The morning of September 19th, 2021, when a uniformed airman and a chaplain knocked on our door, the significance of Memorial Day changed and has a more profound meaning. Our daughter, Staff Sergeant Caitlin Marie DiNardo, is one of the fallen that lie here among other heroes. Staff Sergeant Caitlin DiNardo, Navy Petty Officer First Class Damon Williams, Army Specialist Caleb Collins, and Marine Corps Sergeant Michael Guillory, just four of the 4,000 men and women buried here. My son, Sergeant, sorry. Sergeant Michael Gilley gave all for his country when he was killed in action while on night mission to coordinate an airdrop to resupply his team. These families are reminded of the sacrifice and the meaning behind this day. Memorial Day is not just a holiday to barbecue and to have a day off. It's a day to honor and to remember the men and women who dedicated their lives to protect and serve our country. It really is something that the rest of us take for granted. A brief presentation, gun salute, followed by the playing of taps, paid tribute to the fallen. <laughs> Slidell, Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News.